Hello my friends and welcome to another useless video. Today I will show you how to illuminate any simple liquid crystal display, for example this brick game. Ah yes, Tetris. Every 90s kid probably knows this game. Back then this was the poor man's Game Boy. I've been getting a little nostalgic lately, so I bought a cheap newer version. And now let's light up this simple display using just a few LEDs. It's easy to dismantle this game. It has 6 tiny screws in the back. Now I can open it like a book. And this is everything. A circuit board, some batteries, a small speaker and the display. We have 4 more screws on the circuit board and after removing them the disassembly is finished. Now we have access to the display. The display is not scratched, it has a protective film. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. If you want to see these videos a few days earlier and more DIY videos and updates about my future projects, please check out my Patreon page. The simplest way to illuminate the display is to add an LED on the side. But this is not the best way, it's better to illuminate it from the back. But there is very little space between the circuit board and the LCD, so I plan to make a very thin LED panel. At first I wanted to use these flat LEDs, because it's easier to mount them, but these are very weak. So I will use some 5mm round LEDs instead. Check out the difference between these two types of LEDs. There is only one millimeter between the chip on board and the LCD. I don't have a plexiglass panel that thin, but I have something else in mind. After searching my nostalgia box again, I found these. We don't need this. There we go, I found my one millimeter plexiglass. I will just remove this, thank you. This transparent plastic is very easy to work with, it's easier than plexiglass. So I measured and marked the dimensions of the small panel and I will cut very slowly, because I want to cut it straight. Next I will use sandpaper to make the edges of the panel smoother. The 5mm LEDs are too big and there isn't enough room around the display. I need to modify them. First I will shorten the LED with my cheap and useless rotary tool. Then I will sand away the sides of the LED. In the end it should look something like this. I modified the round 5mm LED into a smaller rectangular LED. Now we have enough room for the LED panel. But the plastic panel isn't finished, the light is not reflected into the back of the LCD. Most of the light goes to the sides of the panel. To improve this, I will use some sandpaper and scratch the entire surface of the panel on both sides. I forgot to lower the ambient light, but you can see that the surface of the panel is better lit now. I don't want to waste the light going to the back of the panel, so I will cover the back surface with white electrical tape. I will cut the excess tape to the size of the panel. The modified LEDs will be fixed to the side of the panel with super glue. After one hour the glue is dried. The LED pins also need to be cut, because there isn't enough space. Now I can remove the protective film and start putting everything back together. I soldered some thin flexible wires to the LEDs and bent them in such a way that would allow me to place the panel in position. I need to cut two small pieces from the silicon buttons, because the LEDs are too close. I will carefully mount the circuit board now. When tightening tiny screws like this, don't strain yourself, you can easily break the plastic mount. The negative wire will be soldered directly to the battery holder. On the positive wire I added the 47 ohm resistor in series with the LEDs, it will lower the current consumption and protect the LEDs. A small switch will turn the light on or off. I made a little cutout for the switch on the side of the case and I will stick it in position with some hot glue. 
I made quite a mess, but I will clean it. Let's test the switch. It's still working, wow. The wiring is finished, now I can close the plastic case. But there is a problem, a plastic pin is touching one of the LEDs, I can't close it. Don't worry, I'll fix it right away. There we go, easy! And now I can tighten the last screws. In daylight there is almost no difference, so let's test it in the dark. Oh no, the light is out, but now I can turn on the LEDs and continue playing my favorite retro games. My camera doesn't work very well in the dark. I took a better quality photo, you can see the display more clearly now. In front of the LEDs the light is brighter, this is because the LED panel is only 1 mm thick and the light doesn't travel very well across the entire panel. If you want the light to be more uniform, you need a thicker panel, at least 2 mm. For example, this 4 mm plexiglass is much better lit and uniform. I chose green LEDs because a green display has its retro charm, but you can use white or any types of LEDs you prefer. Now you can go crazy and upgrade with LEDs any display you want in your house. So thank you for watching this simple video. If you enjoyed it, please share it, leave a comment below and hit the like button. Bye!